Welcome back to What Arty Nibs with General Disturbance. Now, this is not an arty. This is a Valentine 2 tank. It's the free reward tank for the recent mini marathon. And it's me that's driving it. Um, and we're on the Eastbourne of Westfield. Now, this little uh, Tier 4 Terror um, was a design that was actually uh, d built in the UK. And there's some debate over how it got the name Valentine um, because Valentine was the na middle name of the chief designer uh, but some say that it actually got the name Valentine tank because the design was forwarded to the government on Valentine's Day um, but they still don't know who actually gave it the name Valentine but it's basically a walking tank. Yes, this tank is designed to walk alongside the troops. And that's why it's so slow. Incredibly slow. So the tank, the troops could actually walk alongside it and hitch a ride on it. And it's only got one really major weak point is the en corrugated engine cover at the back. And the driver's viewport right at the front. And if you're firing Ace PCR, that's where you aim for to get through that hull. If you're firing anything else, you're probably not going to get through. Because it's pretty tough. It's the same hull that's used for the Bishop. The Tier 5 British SPG. Okay, I've reached the top of the rise. And I've got some... Com um, teammates ahead of me and there's a Marder 38T and I've chosen the other bush simply because I, I didn't like the other one really in terms of position and I'm firing a shot already at that Panzer 1C got a hole into him and I've tracked him and I'm now going to extract as much of his hit points as I can before he retracts and I don't need to because my colleague in the Hetzer takes him out so we've got a good start to the game I've collected some hit points, 227, but unfortunately we lose the Hetzer. He was taken out by the Marder 38T. Now we can't see that Marder, but I suspect he's hiding in one of the bushes up there. And I can have a quick look round. It's the great thing about this little tank is that um, it's pretty robust and you can just sit here quietly watching the battle go by and then wait for your moment. Now, there is another pair of Valentine 2s. Obviously from the reward mini marathon. And they're in the village. And they're having a go at our Valentine. But because of the position I'm in. And that ridge line in the way. I can't fire at them. But that's okay. They can't fire at me either. And there's that Marder 38T. The one that took out the uh, Hetzer. And he's in the dip. So I can't fire at him there. And that Valentine is taking a big risk. Because that Marder has got the ability to penetrate his hull. With his gun. And he's already taken a big chunk out of that Valentine. But there's an SU-76 FT, the Chinese version. I've put a round into him. And another. And he's not moving. A third. And he's pulling away. I missed on that one. Round out. I got a hit. Critical hit there. But um, it didn't appear to do any damage on that last shot. Ah, oh, but there's the Marder 38. And he pops his head up. And I put a couple of rounds into him. And he pops his head back down again. He obviously knows there's somebody there who can shoot at him. And he can't see me because I'm way outside his view range, I think. Uh, plus, of course, I'm in a bush. But I'm not using the bush mechanic, actually, funnily enough. Now, I have a quick look. Can I shoot at those Valentines? No, I can't at the moment. The ridge line's still in the way. So I'm not going to try. And there's the SU-76. He's popped into the village. I can't fire at him yet. Okay, somebody's firing the SU-76. And there's the Marder making a quick run for the bushes. Uh, first round in, second round in. Third round goes in. Fourth round bounces on the hull. But he's taken out very shortly afterwards by the Valentine. By the other Valentine. <laughs> He's still doing quite well. And he takes out the... Uh, uh, SU-76G, but look, here's an AMX-38, the Tier 3 French tank with a very tough hull. And he's doing some damage and somebody's capping at the moment. In fact, we're capping at the other end. And I'm firing rounds in. I'm firing APCR room because it's about the only thing that will get through the hull of that AMX-38. And yep, the enemy's capping, so I need to get back and get a reset because they've got two in the cap. 
three in the cap and we've only got one so round goes in t29 that resets it a little and there's a looks and he's only got the standard gun the pop gun not the uh, automatic cannon 30 millimeter cannon which means he can't get through my hull and all he's doing is gifting me a cool headed award every time he fires at me but that was an he round from the t29 he knows that he will get through or at least do some damage so i'm going down to do some more resetting and every time i fire and hit one of them i've got the high caliber okay now keep moving that t29 knows how to get through the hull i need to get a reset but in fact there's only two left in that hull the t29 goes down and the panzer 1c is trying to get around me i get a hit into him ram into him and yes there he are there he goes he's out the game but there is a valentine up there and our guy's still capping which means we're definitely going to win and it's just a question of taking out this valentine now i'm out of standard apcr but i'm firing up into him and getting some hits on him but i'm now firing he at him i've run out of ap and we'll just keep firing at each other until the cap is finished and we've won the battle and that was a bit of fun and um, what was surprising about this battle was the results and i didn't actually expect this it was only a first class mastery um in the uh, valentine 2 but i also picked up a sharpshooter for getting at least 10 consecutive hits a master gunner for getting at least five armor penetrating hits in a row and i think that was on the uh, tank destroyers up on top of the hill um and a fire for effect for doing more damage than the hit points of my vehicle and a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits during that battle i got 14. but best of all uh from the looks i actually managed to pick up a cool headed award because he did hit me with at least 10 ricochets um i picked up a high caliber for dealing the most damage in the battle at least a thousand hit points a defender medal for resetting the cap enough to get 70 capture or defense points and lastly a confederate because i hit more of the enemy than anyone else and at least six tanks subsequently destroyed by others and you can see that and uh, quite a few of them including the valentine uh, the marda 38t the su-76 and the amx 38 were all killed by other tanks who i'd taken most of their hit points but other tanks then took their rare uh, kills um uh, the same with the looks actually as well funnily enough uh, i didn't get the kill on him but i put five shots into him and you can see the number of shots i put into these tanks and just didn't get the kill for it but anyway um team score wise top of the table when it came to damage 1162 hit points uh but i didn't come top of the table when it came to kills uh i was uh, joint third with only one kill um and when it came to base xp i was uh, top of the table with 924 nearly double the uh, highest figure on my own team uh, because i was doing so much work and hitting as many of the enemy as i could um i fired 50 rounds during that battle i got 42 direct hits 25 penetrations a lot of my shots were either ap or uh towards the end he um and i just wasn't penetrating the hull of that uh, valentine unfortunately i did splash damage uh, no no splash damage because it wasn't an arty i did damage of 1162 hit points of which 359 were at more than 300 meters so i received 41 hits five penetrations 36 non-penetrations thanks to that looks and i blocked damage of 281 hit points in total i hit eight of the enemy but only killed one of them and i did damage assistance of 216 hit points overall um and i managed to stop a hundred or managed to get a hundred defense points so i reset the cap enough times to uh, get collect a hundred on a premium account i earn 41,511 credits and after repair and ammunition resupply and consumables and i did use a lot of uh, uh, of uh, uh, apcr during that battle in fact my entire load of apcr um i still ended up with 24,901 credits and i received 1386 xp but it was times two for the first victory of the day and i also got a premium because the valentine 2 is a premium account uh premium vehicle so i picked up a total of 3465 xp altogether so it's not a bad uh, battle for such a poor tank but it's the best result i've had so far uh, on this particular tank since i got it in the mini marathon 
and uh, I thought you might like to see it. Uh, win eight of that one of four six six six. No allusion to the devil, um, but it just goes to show that uh, uh, such a poor little tank like that can pull off pretty good results if you stay in the right position and I think really on this battlefield if you were to try and go down the south route with all the other light tanks I think you would rapidly be left behind and you wouldn't be able to re recover back to the cap if the enemy uh, conquered the north route but from the position I was taking just above the cap uh, just in case the enemy did actually manage to make it through to the cap, you can just sort of like pounce on them from the cliff top and wipe out any that are capping. Uh, and so it worked out pretty well. Uh, if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in our next video.